we need to clear our fractions first. So you look at your denominators. What's the smallest number of 5, 4, and 10 will go into? It would be 20. But if you don't see that, this is the process to find your LCD. You've got a 5, a 4, and 10. And you need to break these down to their prime factorizations. Well, 5 is already prime. 4 is 2 squared. And 10 is 2 times 5. So my LCD will be list your factors. We only have 2s and 5s. And we want to list each factor the most it shows up in any one case, any one denominator. So how many twos are here? None. How many are here? Two. How many are here? One. Well, what's the largest number you said? Two. Do the same thing for the fives. How many fives are here? One. None. One. So four times five is 20. And you wanna multiply every term by 20 every term on both sides by 20. So 5 will go into 20 four times, that's 16x minus 5, less than or equal to 14x. 10 will go into 20 twice, 2 times 7 is 14, minus 5 will go into 24, it's going to be 16. Now, when I'm solving any inequality, I like to get an, uh, x, the x on the left-hand side. So let's subtract 14x. Since 2x is less than or equal to, let's add 5 to both sides, and that gives me a negative 11. So x is less than or equal to a negative 11 halves. And it says to write it in set order notation. That's x such that x is less than or equal to a negative 11 halves. So this part's already there. You just have to type in this piece.